Okay, we're going to use... Okay. I want you to follow my lead. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is write our given. So that's going to be 0 0.475 liters. Okay. And then we do train tracks. And so we're going to... All right, put a horizontal bar right there. And then... We're going to create a vertical bar there. All right, so now we know that one liter, okay, we're going to put our conversion in there. We, you know, from the previous page over here, we know that that one liter, okay, equals 1,000 milliliters. All right, so that's... Uh, all right, so that's that's right here. We know one liter equals one thousand milliliters. So we put our conversion factors. Okay, we want to convert. We want to cancel our units of liters. So we put them on the bottom. So this unit here goes on the bottom, and then what we're converting to one thousand milliliters goes on the top. Then you multiply by everything. So we're, we stick with the break. We do our calculation. Multiply numbers on top and divide by numbers on the bottom. So 0 0.475 times 1,000 is going to move that decimal three places. Okay, and we divide by one liter on the bottom, which cancels that unit, which gives us 475 milliliters. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing down here. Your teacher tells you that you need 230 centimeters of string for a project. Your ruling only measures in millimeters. So how many millimeters of string do you need? Well, we write our given 230 centimeters, 230 centimeters, and we draw our train tracks. Okay. And then these units down here, we know that one centimeter, or I'm sorry, we know that there are 100 centimeters in one liter, and we know that there are, and that one liter has 1,000. milliliters. And so our centimeters cancel with centimeters. Our liters cancel with liters. We multiply across the top 230 times 1,000 divided by 100, and we can kind of shortcut that by canceling out zeros, right? So 1,000 divided by 100 is 10. And so 10 times 230 is 2,000. 300 millimeters. I did the liters, didn't I? That should have been... meter, one meter, and millimeter. Okay, and so we should measure 2,300 millimeters of string. Okay. It's so a scientific notation notes. We convert to scientific notation if the number is too large or too small. The basic equation for scientific notation is A times 10 to the N, and we did scientific notation last week. So here are some practice questions. Okay, You need to take this page and staple it into your notebook, and then we're, you'll complete the questions, because this is, goes on page 20. So from page 20 to 21, you should be doing these problems. So I will do the first one for you. We have a 30-gram serving of breakfast that has 0 0.5 grams of salt. How much salt would that be in milligrams? So for number one, we have 0 
grams of salt. Okay, and then we write our train tracks. And we want to find out how many milligrams that is. Well, we know that one gram one gram equals one thousand milligrams. That's the unit we want to get to. Okay, so we cancel our grams and we multiply across the top and that equals 500 milligrams. Okay, number two, our last example. Chase measured a line for his art project. It is 200 millimeters long. How many centimeters in the line? Okay, so it's going to be a two-step one. So we have two. We have 200, uh, what was that, centimeters? 200 millimeters. Okay, and then we know that 1,000 millimeters equals 1 meter, and 1 meter equals 100 centimeters. So we multiply across the top, or first of all, our, can our units cancel, meters with meters, so we're left with centimeters. 200 times 100 is 20, 200 times 100, 20,000, and then we're going to divide that by 1,000, so cancel zeros, cancel zeros, and we're left with 20 centimeters. Okay, so those are the examples, and you guys should be able to use those examples to figure out problems 3 through 16.